good morning my youtube beauties um i wasn't gonna do a video today but i had a lot of things on my mind and i just wanted to encourage people out there um don't let nobody make you feel away um the beautiful thing about covid and everything like that is you could watch your church services from the internet you don't have to physically go um all of us have different schedules some people i know i used to work on a weekend and just in general you know um especially when my son was younger when my son was younger i had to do everything i had to do all the cooking all the cleaning i had to um i had to do everything so when sunday came around i didn't want to go to church because i was worn out from work all week and then when my son was little from zero to i would say 12 i always took him out like i always took him out i always had a ticket to do something disney on ice the circus like i made sure he had a childhood that's one thing about my son um no matter how tired i was i worked all week he always even if i didn't have a ticket to go nowhere I would take him to the library in the park. That was our favorite thing to do. Or the Brooklyn Children's Museum. Some, so many people, their kids never been to a museum. The best one is, if you live in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Children's Museum. Do not take them to no grown people museum because it's not for them and they're not gonna understand it. But Brooklyn Children's Museum is the best thing to do because it's on their level, right? They could play pretend, they, could have, they have the fake pizza thing. And it's really good, you know. Now that my son is 14, he's, you know, kind of too old for that, you know. He did make mention of, oh, we could go visit. But I'm like, they don't really have anything for teenagers. Teenagers are kind of on their own. I don't know why they do it like that. They should have a safe space for teenagers. Um, museum, uh, Brooklyn Museum, they had an exhibit for teens. But that was just like a one night thing. But in general, like, there's not a whole bunch for the t for teenagers to do. They kind of have to make their own plans. You know, and that's not good. Like, they should have constructive things for teenagers to do. Same way they have things for adults to do and young children is a gap for teenagers. And seniors, a lot of things don't have nothing for seniors. Like, they, we have community centers, but you have a lot of seniors that live in private houses and they don't live near a community center. So what a what a you know, what can they do for their leisure? You know, so that's one thing I hope I don't know, maybe I can get a petition going. I don't know what I have to do, but they need something for senior citizens and they need something for teenagers. Because it's not a lot of things out there outside of community centers. Community centers they have things for teenagers too. If you guys live in housing, um, some people are not aware, but like I live in Van Dyke, so our community center, they have a gym um, for after school hours in the weekend. The kids could come in, they could shoot pool, you know, they could just hang out, you know, like a, a safe haven for them. And for the seniors, they could play bingo. They, um, they'll actually say senior center on a community center. Um, whether it be Van Dyke, Albany Projects, Marcy Projects, um, any projects, the community centers are open. So if you want information, just walk in. Don't be afraid. Walk in and ask. Um, summertime is coming and just wanted to let y'all know because I didn't know until my friends from school told me. Mind you, I've been living in the project since 2012 and I didn't know they had free camps until you know someone told me and so um my son is a product of the free community centers and they're good and i worked in community centers during the summer under camba and sometimes it's not always structured as far as like depending on the director so where i worked the the workers um they had to uh we had to think of a schedule and things for them to do throughout the day whether if it was like i used to read a book to the kids 
um, and they would have to answer comprehension questions. Um, we let them dance. We let them listen to music. Um, and we would go on trips. We would go on at least one trip a week, sometimes two trips a week. So that was like our highlight of camp. And then my son, he went to Van Dyke um, summer camp. When he first went, it was excellent. They ha they actually had reading and math for real. They had some coming teaching. Um, he took karate. He took swimming. Um, it was such a wonderful, wonderful program. And then I don't know what happened the following year. It just went downhill. My son was like, they wasn't doing anything. They was just kind of sitting around. Um, they took him to the precinct without telling the parents. It was supposed to be a trip. And I'm like, what type of trip is that to take black kids to the precinct? What are they learning from that? They see that every day, very negative. The community we live in, they see cops all the time. They don't need to see that, you know, as a trip, you know. So then they didn't have air conditioning. And that's when I called 311 and they shut down for the summer. And I had to bring my son to work with me. That was back in the summer of 2018. So it, it was... It, it got crazy, but <laughs> for the most part, community centers, they are a safe haven for children. And it's a free program. So if your child is between the ages of six and 12, no, five and 12, they could enroll. So that's between grades, kindergarten through sixth grade, they could go. Once they turn 13, um, that's it, they're not supposed to be in there. Now, depending on the director, like last summer, I had to beg the director to let my son in. And he let him in, cause I was like, he's 13. You know, at 13, they can't work. So it's like, well, what what is he supposed to do for the summer? You know, so I begged the director, Howard Houses, and he went. And my son complained that it was boring, but I'm like, at least you around other kids. At least, you know, you're going on trips. And that's the key thing is like, I'm like, you could make it fun. Y'all could bring board games. Y'all could play cards. Y'all could play tic-tac-toe. Like, you know, make it fun. But, you know, regardless if they're not doing nothing or not, the main thing is the trips. And that's important. You know, the trips is important. I think that trips is important for kids adults whatever you know just going out is is very important you know it builds social skills it makes you a better person it makes you more uh open-minded you know it's just it's good you know um but yeah that's i wanted to share that information just in case if people didn't know if you live in an urban area now suburban most people pay for go away camps. My son went to go away camp um, through his school years ago. I did. I personally did not like it because go away camp. As a parent, you cannot call. They have a rule that you the parents cannot call. Um, I didn't like that. And then my son told me how the boys was playing with each other wee wee in the bathroom. So I did not like that. And then the majority of the people that was working in the camp were kids. Like I understand teenagers need summer jobs too, but I feel like with any camp or go away camp, you need to have more grown people than, than teenagers because kids are gonna be kids. They still kids, they're teenagers. So they're not gonna put 100% in their job because at the end of the day, they don't need their jobs. They live at home, they are not paying no bills. so. They're not gonna put their hundred percent in it. They not, even if they are mature. You know, like when I worked with some of you, you know, I was in 2018. I was how old was I? I was 29. Yeah, I was 29. Was I 29? Wait, how? Yeah, how old was I? So I was 25 in 2014. So yeah, I was 29. So I, yeah, I was 29. Was I? Yeah, that was five years ago. I'm 34 now. So yeah, I was 29. So a lot of the people I was working with, they were teenagers or whatever. 
and they did the best they could i'm not gonna lie but it was a lot of immaturity because they were teenagers so i just wanted to let parents know that like you know you can't expect but so much from teenagers because they're still developing mentally socially physically so they're not gonna put you know for me i rather more grown people than teenagers watching after my kid you know um also they need to do more background checks um i never forgot van dyke um the summer i pulled him out there was a worker that was on her break and she was smoking now i'm not saying that you cannot smoke on your break i would never say that to nobody but i feel like if you work with kids i don't feel like you should smoke in the vicinity because it just doesn't look good it makes you make yourself look bad you making the job look bad and it just looks i don't understand i'll never understand it because i'm not a smoker but i just feel like if you're on the clock you shouldn't smoke and that's just my personal opinion i really feel strongly about that i remember when i used to do security people would be on they would smoke right in front of the job and i thought that was so tacky and they would come back and smell like cigarettes it's like now one particular girl she smoked but she never smelled like cigarettes that's the one i told y'all about me and her didn't get along her last name was brown but that's one thing i admired about her she and i saw her that too i said it's amazing you just took a smoke but you don't smell like it she's like yeah because i don't smoke like that she said she said i don't smoke the whole cigarette she was like i smoke puff puff and i throw it away i said oh okay but she never smelled like cigarettes. she smoked cigarettes but she never smelled like it so i feel like if you can't be like her you shouldn't smoke now our supervisor he used to come in smelling like smoke he would take a smoke break and then come and smell like smoke and i thought that was just so unprofessional because it, it stinks let's keep it real cigarettes stink all right i rather smell weed than cigarettes if i have to have a choice i don't like the smell of weed either but i rather smell weed than cigarettes you know and then you know vape vape has no smell so vaping i don't have a problem with vaping you know or people not gonna bring a whole hookah shit but you know yeah so the girl i didn't get along with that's one thing about her um she would take her smoke and she would never smell like it now i was talking about the lady i actually was coming from work and um i was coming from camba myself and i saw one of the workers at my son's camp smoking now she was on her break what it looked like but i just thought that that looked so unprofessional it's right in front of the center like my thing is if you have to take a smoke break i feel like you should not be wearing a uniform because when you work in a summer camp they make you wear these t-shirts so i feel like you need to take off your t-shirt you should have a shirt underneath you should always wear a shirt underneath but i guess some people don't because they hot but for me i remember i would wear like a tank top or something underneath so this way when um work was over i would take it off just because i don't want to be in that all day you know that's just for work but i feel like for people who have to smoke like you can't help yourself wear a tank top or something underneath so this way when you take your break and then you should not be smoking in front of where you work you should do it like around the corner or something it's just people i feel like people don't have common sense and they don't want to have it so this same lady my son described her to me when they when they took the kids to coney island she was rolling up like what the hell like why would you be rolling up to the point that my son see you which it's like really he said how she went like in the back where she thought nobody would was um would see her and i'm like well what was she rolling up because i was curious i was like how does this boy know i'm like mind you my son was very young five years ago he was nine like that's a baby to me nine years old and he know what rolling up is it's like yo <sighs> I 
I can't make this up. So I was like, well, what, 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 how do you know what rolling up is? I was just so like, oh my God. So he told me, he's like, mom, it was a little piece of brown paper and she put some stuff in it that looked like brown, whatever. He's like, I don't know, but she just put it in a thing and then she licked it and then she rolled it up. I was like, oh my God, he's witnessed for him to, for my son to witness some shit like that. I was livid. I was on fire. So I immediately called the center. They denied it, of course. I called through on one and I reported them because all of that was going on and then they didn't have no AC. So yes, I had them shut down for the rest of the summer. They probably would. I'm sure I was not the only parent. I'm sure I was not the only parent because y'all doing too much. Y'all got workers rolling up and smoking. Then um, y'all taking the kids to the precinct with no permission slip. And then y'all fucking, um, you know, don't got AC and God only knows what else was going on. God only knows. But yes, um, yes, that was like a bad, bad experience. I would tell all my parents, please do your research on these camps. Sometimes you can't because it's like your first time, you know, if you a new parent and stuff and it's your first time putting your child in camp. Cause most people, they have family watch their kid over the summer or they'll stay home with their kids, you know, and some people don't want to be bothered cause it's like, I don't want my son in a pro or his daughter in the projects. I'm not put like I remember this same coworker. I was telling her about the free programs, and she was like, "I'm not putting my children in no projects." Da da da. I was like, "It's to give them something to do." She was like, "No, I don't care. I don't care." So you have some people that they think all the senses are bad, but not all of them are bad. I'm just telling y'all my little experiences. But I could truly say, overall, the centers are good. It's a safe haven. You don't have to worry about too much. There's no bullying. We know they don't allow that. That's one thing I love about the centers. They, they zero tolerance for bullying. Zero tolerance. Like, um, they're really good with that. Like, so you don't have to worry about your kid being bullied. Um, they really are very, um, good with that and for the most part your child won't be bored now my son felt bored last summer because he was 13 he'd been there done that and he said it he's like they all little kids ma I said well I didn't want you home for the summer you know you're a child because I know for me I was home for every summer and my parents did the best they could like I went to private school from kindergarten through 12th grade and then I went to summer camp um, one time in my life. I went to summer camp. First, I was at um, uh, Bible, what they call it? Bible camp or whatever. Day was boring. All we did was play Monopoly all day. And I told my parents. So they pulled me out of that. And my computer teacher from elementary, she had a camp inside of a public school. She had a hookup. And that was the best camp ever. Like it really was like we did reading and math. We went on trips, you know, um, we didn't really do much, but I remember having fun. I remember being in the gym and blasting Aaliyah. We used to play double Dutch in the gym. Like it was simple, but it was fun. Like I never felt bored, you know, um, like it was just good. It was it was just good. It was just good. Um It was good. Um but the church I was you know, I would tell people do not put your child in no church camp. Um they are unorganized and they don't have licensed teachers, workers in there. Um I don't know what the fuck, but <laughs> I remember I went to a camp called Anointed Minds. I remember being bored. Um, I did get teased. That's the funny thing. I never got teased in the other camp. 
no the other camp it was one girl that was bothering me i actually knew her from school and i had to bust her up to teach her a lesson but other than that i was fine and then um anointed minds i remember i don't know if i was there the whole summer was i there the whole summer but that was extremely boring like we didn't do nothing all day nothing at all and i know my father was paying money but i remember the, the name was anointed minds and i think they have a church and i think the pastor came to my um my pastor's church whatever it's a small world but yeah i remember the name anointed minds they was whack and then greater bright light which was down a block from my parents they had a vacation that's what they call it vacation bible school we did not even talk about the bible we was freaking playing monopoly all day so no <laughs> do not do it parents do not do it vacation bible school they don't even read the bible and if they do it's like it's unorganized it's unstructured and it's just a way to get your money, you know. If you want to send your child to, at least with the community centers, at least they take them out on trips. At least the kids could kind of make up stuff to do. Like, because like I said, there's a pool table. There's the, um, what do you call that? Where you move the ball. Like, there's a bunch of stuff to do in the center. So even if the directors and the workers don't have a plan, your kids are not going to be bored because there's plenty of board games. You know, you got people like me in the neighborhood that constantly donate. Like, I remember for the camp that I worked at, I gave them all my board games. You know, so you always have people in the neighborhood giving board games, giving, you know, whatever. And um, so they'll never be bored. And there's a bunch of kids in the sense of somebody going to think of something to do. <laughs> you know, so um yeah your kid is not going to be bored in the center so that's why not just because it's free but i will always promote it because it's, it's stuff to do it's pool tables and it's you know whatever but um yeah so um those are my thoughts for the summer um uh, my son is doing summer youth this summer i'm happy for him but He's working from home. I don't know why they doing that. COVID is over. And he asked me, he's like, mom, can I get a second job? That ain't no money. They, so instead of giving the kids minimum wage, they giving them a stipend of a hundred a week. I don't know why they doing that. I don't know if it's because it's a recession, the budget crisis, I don't know what's going on, but I don't think that's right. You know, well, they saying, oh, because well, they 14 15 year olds is the 16 year olds that get the minimum wage and then on top of that when some when i was growing up you know um i got accepted to some of you when i was pregnant but i took the daycare job instead because the daycare job was paying nine dollars an hour so i took that instead of doing summer youth you know so i remember summer youth when you get hired they um they would give you full-time hours. They would let you work nine to five Monday through Friday. And even my friends who did summer youth, they said it was nine to five Monday through Friday. And then like 2016, when I was doing Canva, I was grown, so I did full-time. But the summer youth that was there with us, they was only allowed to work 20 hours a week. And then they bumped it to, now it's 15 an hour, and they like the, the 16 and over they still on some 20 hours a week so i don't know why they doing that to them you know it's not right give them full time the kids need something to do you know to stay off the streets and stuff summer youth is so much more than just oh having a job it's teaching them responsibility it's teaching them to have a job you know, for me, I didn't start working until I was 18. But um, it's good to have a child start working early so they can have a sense of life, you know. But, um, but yeah, get your kids busy this summer. And those are my thoughts.